Hello everyone, Dex here and welcome to another Guild Wars 2 video guide. This time around I'm going to show you how you can get the achievement, the puzzle achievement for Behem's Gauntlet. Um, this, unlike most other achievements, uh, this achievement will require you to be at least level 42, I, I suggest you to be, because you're gonna need to fight some monsters on the way. It's, um, um, there, you can avoid them, but if you're too low, um, you're gonna simply die, so it might be a problem. Alright, so to get started, make your way over to the Blaze Ridge steps and make your way to the Behem's Waypoint, located right here. And to, to get started, I'm gonna be heading towards this road right here. As you can see, there are already some end trails. I did some research before starting this video, wanted to make sure you guys get the best content I can provide. So. Hopefully, uh, nothing wrong will happen. So make your way over here. Um, there are actually going to be a lot of spiders here right now, and I'm going to decide to skip them all together. Hopefully I won't fail too much, because they can uh, chain you like this. So try not to get hit by those uh, web things. Simply evade them will be the best solution. Alright, so right here there's gonna be a small hole in the wall and a veteran canyon spider. I'm gonna skip that as well because that's quite a long fight. You can do it of course, but I'm going to show you in a second how you can skip that by simply jumping to the rocks up here. Um, the monsters will stop attacking you because they can't reach you. So the moment you climb here you're probably safe. Better just wait uh, till I'm out of combat to make sure. Alright, so I might still be in combat, but uh, they're not attacking me, so I'm fine. So while you're standing here, you want to make your way over to this ledge right here. Again, on, on the map, I'm standing right here. Ah, oh, something just shot me. Yeah, the spider still don't like me. Alright, so jump over to this small stone and over here. Oh, I fell. So this is also something to bear in mind. You might fall here, that's not such an easy jump. So, when you get over here, you're gonna get into a large room with a large drop. Now, when you're in this room, you can start seeing all those platforms and whatnot. I'm not actually sure if they're part of the puzzle, but the route I'm going to take, they aren't. So, I don't know if you have to use them or not. I'm not going to use them. So I'm not too worried about them. So jump to your left and fall down to this platform right here. And by the way, just so you know, I'm headed towards this pillar right here in the middle. So this is why everything up here shouldn't take any part in the achievement. It might be some other secret, I don't know. I didn't investigate it thoroughly. So make your way over here and you're gonna need to take another drop um, that drop might be uh, lethal, so um, actually you might want to go ahead over here and take the jump from the other side. Again, I'm skipping the monsters because they don't hurt me too much and I don't, I'm not really considered about them. So you, make, you want to make this fall and this fall and then fall make sure you're falling to the right platform not down but th the upper one so also take a slight jump and you're basically it they're basically here um try not to fall down if you fall down you have to make the entire thing again it may seem like there's some way of stairs here but i sure there aren't so i'm using a speed mechanic just to be sure and the moment you hit that pillar you get achievement and the chest and that's it. In order to get out of here, there, um, there is a way through the waters. You can jump down to the water, get rid of this veteran shark, and swim your way through. However, I simply suggest you to just use a waypoint out. And that's it. Hope you find this guide useful, and see you guys next time.